Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're discussing if the Forge World models that you bought are real or not. Now, of course, if you've bought your models from Forge World directly, they're real. But a lot of us turn to Craigslist and eBay to try to score those sweet, sweet deals. Now, some of you guys might be asking, why should I care if my models are real or not? Well, despite what anyone says, a recast is always gonna have less quality than the original. This is just the nature of it being a cast of the original. The detail is gonna be less as it goes on. For the purpose of this video, I bought a few bits from some recasters on eBay and a couple from a notorious China recaster. I also bought a $400 Forge World model for 40 bucks on Craigslist, so this should be interesting. Let's go ahead and open that one first and then let's see what we got. So this is the model I found while browsing Craigslist. I have a recently started Tau Army, so I figured why not buy a thousand point Lord of War. I contacted the seller, and they seemed genuine, but they didn't seem to know a lot about the model. I wanted to jump on it before anyone else could, so I asked for a quick description of the contents, I paid the 40 bucks, plus some shipping, and the package just arrived today. Okay guys, let's go ahead and open this thing up, see what we got. Hey, we have white boxes. That is a very good sign. So actually having the four drilled boxes automatically increases my believing that this is actually real. And you can see, it says right here, the actual name of the items. Now let's actually open one of these up and check it out. Obviously I'll go through and open all of these up. But for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to open up one of them. Okay, so far this is looking good. One of the things to look for is if there's actual instructions. Um, sometimes you'll get these with recast things, but they're going to be you know, printed on printer paper. Um, but this looks legitimate. It looks like some of these have actually been already taken off the gates. Maybe the person before kind of started working on this, but never got around to finishing it. You can see kind of part of this is put together, but yeah, it's, it's not even glued on. So I'm really excited about this. This thing is real. It's a $400 model for 40 bucks. Um, I was fully expecting this thing to be um, trash. And I'm guessing this should be the full-on actual body of this thing. Oh god, this thing is massive. So, oh yeah, look at this. So you're gonna see the torso here is like the size of my hand. So yeah, guys, this thing, um, as far as I'm concerned, is authentic, and you can actually see. It still has the documents saying who checked it um, and directions and everything. It's awesome. Okay, so if the stuff you get comes in the Forge World boxes with the instructions, with the Forge World bags, and the certificate of authenticity, it's a really good sign. But not everything you buy is going to come like this. Let's look at some of the parts of this model more closely, and then we'll compare them to some recast pieces. When looking at forge world parts, the lines should be nice and sharp. They shouldn't be wavy or dulled down. Also, any circles on the model should be completely round with no deformation. Granted, there's still going to be small things like mold lines, tiny pin bubbles, and flashing, but these are things to be expected with any resin models. The parts should also not have any discernible chemical smell, which is something that I noticed with a lot of the recasts that I bought. Okay, now let's go ahead and look at some of the recasts to compare with. Okay, first up is an authentic Forge World Salamander's part on the left, and a recast Salamander's part on the right. For the most part, the recast is decent, 
But if you look closely, you'll notice that both pieces are supposed to have a tiny chain on them. But the recast failed to capture this detail. Now, is this a deal breaker for you? Maybe not, but for someone who's really picky about their models like I am, it is. So I'm just trying to show you guys what some of the small differences between genuine and recast items are. Next up is a ribbon from an Eldar Shadow Spectre. You can see that the ribbon is really rough, it even has a hole in it. From my experience, recasters have a really hard time with thin pieces. This is probably because they don't have high pressure machinery like Games Workshop uses, and you just end up getting really poor results. You can also see this issue more with this Contemptor Dreadnought. There's a hole going right through it in one of the thinner areas. You'll also know that the model in general is pretty rough, and that the circles are kind of out of shape. This model also smells like a chemical factory from about 10 feet away, so I have no idea what they used to make this, but it's probably not good for you. Now, let's look at the most commonly recast Forge World models, the Death Core of Krieg. This is from a notorious recaster out of China, and I've gotta say, this recast looks pretty good. But when we look at the smaller, thinner parts, it goes downhill fast. I mean, look at this shovel? And other parts like the sword blade, they're just flat out missing. Okay, so before we conclude, let's check out a listing on eBay for a recast Forge World item. Now you'll see that this item is about half the price of a new one. Now this one is out of Spain, but I've also seen them come out of China, Ukraine, and the US. So this one actually says the brand is Forge World, but 99% of the time they'll leave that as unbranded, so they can't get in trouble if you say it's not authentic. When we take a look at the seller's profile, you're going to notice a lot of recasters sell a wide variety of Forge World models. It's so wide that usually people wouldn't actually have all of these if they were just a casual game player selling their models. Also, recasters tend to use just stock images from Forge World's website to display their items. After having bought some of these minis, Lundam 4365, I'm sorry to say, but... You're a phony! Hey, this guy's a great big phony! Now is Forge World perfect? Heck no. Here's just one example of an expensive item I bought that came defective. But due to them being an actual company and not just some man in Ukraine with a pot of chemicals and an email, I was able to send this picture off to him and a few weeks later I got a replacement free of charge. Now I know after paying so much money it might be frustrating to get something that's defective, but at least you have the option to get it fixed and replaced. Okay guys, that's it. Now, if you want to buy recasts, I'm not here to pass judgment. We all have different budgets and priorities, but I want you guys to be aware of some of the problems they can have, and if you think you're buying the real deal, what to look out for. Down below in the comments, sound off with some of the great deals you got on eBay or Craigslist or some shady back alley deals. And if this video helped you in any way, please like and subscribe. As always, thank you for your time and take care.